delighted to report that on board the space station, in this Columbus laboratory, there'll be an amateur radio where I'll be able to talk to schools in the UK as the space station flies over. I'd love it for you to join this program. I'll be using the call sign GB1SS and I'll be listening and standing by. Are you ready to take up the challenge and talk to me using the amateur radio from space? So our message from all of us is whatever you want to do, whatever you're sitting out there doing, do it. Go out there, follow your dreams and, and you can do it, whether it's space or anything else. Amateur radio is the door to a world of possibilities. Now across the whole project, about 200 of these kits have been put together um, and because the uh, pupils have been working in teams, um, about four or 500 young people have had hands-on experience of radio construction. And it was great to see that um, in this day and age when wireless technology is all around us, that the joy of hearing a radio signal on a receiver you've built yourself hasn't lost its wow factor. We've always wanted to get in and work with the school and this has been the golden opportunity. Um, we've done the foundation course here, made lots of good friends and I uh, think it's the way forward and uh, this is going to be the start of a very good relationship. We've got three licensing levels and as these uh, children in this school and the preceding schools of ISS uh, contacts have shown, they've managed to get the uh, foundation license in a relatively short time, just a few days study. We found out with our school that we'd be able to contact the International Space Station. That instantly had me because I've always been fascinated in like, science and space. It's always been something I've been curious and interested in. And when I found out about radios, already having some knowledge, I thought it'd be a good idea to continue that and see what other opportunities could arise from doing that, and I did and I passed, which is a great thing, so now there's a lot more opportunities I can do. And what I've subsequently learned from doing the course and chatting to uh, all the people involved in amateur radio is there's so many different ways you can go with it. You can, you know, you can do so many different things and what suits you and your, uh, your, sort, of, your sort of interests, really. On the radio side, it's really very simple. We've got a radio, we've got a power amplifier, and we've got a set of antennas, and that's pretty much it. The majority of the rest of it is all about um, monitoring it, watching it and controlling bits and pieces. The ARIS operation for Tim's Principia mission involves uh, the uh, VHF communications between schools and uh, him on the ISS, but it also, for the very first time, will include the use of the ham TV transmitter, which is on the ISS, and will give us live pictures from the ISS as Tim is talking to the schools.
And I think anything, I would say anything that you're interested in will have a link back to space. GB1SS, this is Golf Bravo 1 Sierra Alpha November calling and standing by for a scheduled contact with the International Space Station. Over. Thank you, Kieran, and I know that you'd like to thank the rest of your team as well. So on behalf of Kieran, thank you to Carlos, Howard, Graham, Noel, Frank, Phil and John for all the help throughout the mission with the wonderful Aris contacts. Enjoy your day, everybody, and signing out from the International Space Station. Amazing, amazing experience for all of us. It is my sincere hope that today will be the rocket fuel which ignites the fire of a new generation of scientists, mathematicians and engineers. Follow your dreams to work hard and just enjoy the journey and I'm sure you'll get there. Good luck. Over. It certainly raised the profile overall of amateur radio, and that's uh, really important. And, of course, here in, in uh, the UK, it's very important the RSGB has a high profile and is seen associated with cutting-edge interest in, in technology. So, for all those reasons, it's great. The whole point of what we've been trying to do is to inspire students and, and give them the little bit of the, uh, if you like, the inspiration to say, yeah, I can achieve anything, and it's just about learning never stop learning and set a goal, get it, move on to the next one. The UK Space Agency had been thrilled to work with ARIS UK and the RSGB in these calls. You've been wonderful people to work with and it has been really important that we built this partnership together to deliver such a successful programme to 10 schools across the country. Many tens of thousands of children have participated in this and I'm very confident that they will remember that for the rest of their lives and that will help some of them consider careers in the space sector, in the electronic sector, in all these wonderful careers that can come out of space and amateur radio. Thank you.